Hello, welcome back to Kingdom Come Deliverance. And we have just woken up in the Miller's house where I was brought after the horrible attack where they stole my sword. Did they steal anything else, by the way? Inventory? Oh, yeah, they did. Crap, I don't even have clothes. Weapons, armor, food, other, no, I only have keys. Okay. Well then, uh, bread, give me bread. Yes, thank you, I will take it all. Now I have keys and bread. So, eat from the pot. No, I don't want to drop it in the pot, stupid. Uh, okay, so what's this? Uh, lockpick? I don't have any lockpicks. Why would I lockpick that? Well, I am without clothes, apparently. And I am probably going somewhere. I don't really know. I just woke up. I guess this is the, the mill. This is where it happens, the millery things. Can I... No, I can't. I can't do anything. Okay, okay. so let's... I guess we should speak to... The Miller. DLC activated. Treasures of the past. Oh, this is the, one of the DLC thingies. Okay, should I read this? There's a statue and could any money of war of this army. You can find more hints in your trunk. What trunk? I don't have a trunk. The long abandoned village Pribislavitz. My Polish is. I guess it's Polish. It's pretty crap. Wait the return of bustling life. Wait for a suitable opportunity to go and see Sir Dirshvalut. Yes, well, I don't really care right now. So, hello, Mr. Miller. Can I speak? You, young fellow. Uh, okay, yeah, please. I tried. You walked away. He seems angry. I'm Henry. Yeah, start there. My name's Henry. Thank you for taking care of me here. My name's Peshek, and I'm the miller here. You've already met my niece, Teresa. She took care of you for two whole weeks while you were in limbo. And talking of you being at death's door, while you were lying here, you worked up quite a bill with the blood letter, who came now and again to keep you alive with his potions. That quack doesn't Sorry. come cheap. I paid him what I could, but I still, that is, you still owe him. I see. Well, it's better to be in debt than to lie dead in a ditch. What do I owe? I'm not afraid of hard work. You won't pay for that shoveling manure. I might have a better job for you. And it's not something any fool can do. If you prove to me you're a clever lad, I might trust you with something you could really make money from. What do you say? Uh... Okay. Well, what would you need from me? A trifle. Just to take something from someone and bring it to someone else. And not get caught while you're doing it. That sounds straightforward enough. Uh. Except for not get caught. Why would anyone want to catch me? Oh, don't worry. It's just a job like any other. Only this one requires, uh, let's say, the right moral disposition. Do corpses bother you? No honourable man should touch them. That's the executioner's job. What? Do you expect I'd give you a hoe and send you out to the fields? You can dig all right, but somewhere else. I want to know whether you're going to hide behind some stupid fucking scruples, or if you might be useful for more unconventional work. Um, okay. He's making a criminal out of me. Henry the Mighty. Well, uh, okay, tell me more. Prepare for just about anything, but that's a bit much. But go on. Tell me more. Listen, it's about this ring my mate Wojciech Kohelnitz Miller had his eye on. 
trouble is, they buried the ring by the gibbet along with the villain they hung while he was wearing it. Jesus Christ. Oh. You want me to dig up a corpse, take a ring from it, and give it to your friend in Kohelnitz? There's nothing sacred to you. Money first, morals later. Ah. That fellow is dead. He won't miss it. Uh, Whatever true. bleeding heart came up with the idea that it's disrespectful to disturb a corpse. Never read the Bible. It's still a human <laughs> body, only it's missing a soul. Why be disgusted by something what? created by God? <laughs> okay, yeah, I'll do it. I think I've already heard more than I need to know. You've got the tongue of the devil himself. If you yes. tried hard enough, I bet you could justify sodomy with a goat. Watch your mouth. <laughs> There's a shovel oh. here around the mill somewhere. <laughs> if there's any problem, come and see me. And here's something on the side to make you dig better. Thanks. I'll need it. I can't believe I've come to this. Digging up corpses. Oh, and uh, watch out for the executioner and his hounds. They're pretty savage. And I don't just mean the dogs. You can just throw them some meat. The dogs, that is. But the executioner? Well, don't vex him. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Sounds like a good idea. What do you give me? Uh, spirits. He <laughs> gave me liquor. <laughs> Could have given me clothes, maybe. Uh, okay. So, yeah. Clothes. About clothes. Do I have clothes? Do they... they didn't steal the clothes. I had them on me on the cart. So, where's my clothes? Is that my clothes? No? It should be... Did he sell my clothes to pay my bill? You stupid sod. Well, I took everything I had and sold it, apparently. So, Teresa, where's my clothes? Have you eaten yet? Um, yeah, kind of. Yes, it was very good. Did you bake it yourself? I did. I'm glad you enjoyed it. So, about my clothes? Oh, it's you. It's Mutt. You followed me. Nice. Hello, Mr. Miller. Uh, Miller, I'm thirsty. Uh, shovel, 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 shovel. I'm supposed to find a shovel somewhere. Uh, that's an outhouse. Um, shovel, shovel. Can I find a hey, gate? This looks like a place for a shovel, maybe. Am I supposed to run around nude? That's funny. So, I really don't have anything left except my keys. What's that? Can I take it? No? Sit. I don't want to sit. Uh, shovel. Where in blazes is the shovel? Oh, that's wet. Uh, can I go up here? Is there a shovel here? What happens if I fall in? <gasps> let's close. Oh, let's go away from there. Okay, no shovel there. Can I open this? Lockpick. So, no shovel. No shovel here, no shovel there. No shovel anywhere. So, over here maybe? Shouldn't there be... Hey, let's take a look at my... Um, what am I doing? Awakening. Go to Pirkstein. Pirkstein. See Saradzik. No. Get your things from the trunk. What trunk? Teresa put all the things I had on me into a trunk. Where might that be? Side quest. Miller Peshek. Oh, there. There's the red one. There's that one and that one. Okay, got it. 
So that's my trunk, and that's my trunk too. Okay, so let's see. Trunk. Oh, it's that trunk. In here. Ah, oh, there it is. Aha! Yes, take all. Thank you. Now, let's see. Let's put some clothes on. Inventory. Bianca's ring is there. Good. Uh, that. Can I equip that? Yes, thank you. Dried fruit. Hunter's gloves. Equip that. Uh, that. How about this? Yeah, sure. Uh, mail color. Shoes. That. Hose. Plate. Red scarf. Should I have that? Oh, it's either that or that so maybe the scarf is better maybe duck that looks bad spirits war horse what okay so i have stuff now and that can i equip that i can't equip that I have lockpicks. So I have maps, I have weapons. That's not a weapon. Put that on too. Uh, hunter's gloves, I have that. Uh, and let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Why can I use the. Why can't I equip that? Well. <coughs> Now I have clothes, and I can lockpick this, but I shouldn't steal from Miller Peshek, he's a bit nasty. So let's find the shovel, shall we? It should be, if I'm following that red sign up there, is that the shovel or is that mission? I don't know. Is there a shovel anywhere around here? Mutt, do you see a shovel? Oh, there it is. Can I pick it up? I can't pick it up. Why can't I pick it up? Spade. There you go. So, now let's go to... I think I'm going this way. Let's find a grave somewhere, so we can dig up that corpse. Maybe we should do that in the dark, what do you think? What's this place? That looks weird. And try to pick up some... Um, some herbs or flowers or whatever when we can because I think they will come in handy sometime I think you can brew stuff in this game that's not the place where are we going? uh oh not there I have no idea Let's have a look around. Uh, that's an A. Oh, is that up there? That's where I'm going? Am I overloaded? What? Well, let's uh, throw out some stuff. We can throw that. X. Yes. All the bad food. Now I, I am not overloaded anymore. Okay, I can run now. Great. So is it that A I'm going for? Is that a mission? 
Oh, is that the... Uh, wait, crap, I'm so confused. What am I doing? It's the Awakening Side A. You should pay me the Patrick or blah, 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 blah. I'm gonna get to the Nuts Ring. Okay. Well, I only see that. Okay. Let's go with that then. I have no idea. Okay, over the bridge. I do not know where it is. Can't go up there. I think it's here somewhere. It may be. It points that way. Is there an easier way to get there? No. Why is it that way? I have no idea. You know what? Um, I'm gonna think I'm gonna pause here for a while and try to find this grave. I hardly think anything is going to happen right now. So I'll be right back. Let's see. Some people can teach you some lessons you have to know something already. There might be more than one trainer for each skill. Oh, trainer. Cool. Not long ago you bear this convict. Try and get him out of the house. There, this try is that one. But recently you buried a convict and um, this convict... It's probably wrong. Um, was a family man he left three young children and i thought it might ease their hearts if i gave them the ring their father had on him in his final hour i'm sure you wouldn't bury him with such a valuable thing children you say you're right i do have the ring but actually it's a worthless bauble you can have it for a few groschen Ooh. 20. well i have it's 50. Here it thank is. you what? So. This is nothing but an ordinary copper band. It's not worth a tin penny. Well, that's business. Now about training. Can Hound you help me master. with training my dog? Certainly. Okay. Uh, beginner. Yes, I am beginner. I'd like to practice the basics. All right. But it will cost you. Oh, of course it will. Sixty. No. Maybe another time. I just gave you all my cash. Well. That was expensive. So. Uh, where am I going now? Am I going this way? I have no idea. I think I came from this direction. Maybe. I'm going back to Miller. Peshek. No use digging up that grave if it wasn't there. Right. So back it is. It's good. It's far away though. Um, maybe this way. This is pretty cool. It's an open world. You can discovered rat eye but you can go where you want to for the most part oh who are you can we talk hello poppy not surprised <coughs> betty was always good with her hands you're right there anyway i showed a couple of pieces she made last time to old tonda from tabor the one i buy goods from and he said right away you'll take them 
And how much do I want for them? Well, now. I was surprised myself. But I wasn't sure Betty would even want to sell them. So I asked for a high price. And he says, that's fine. And started counting out the coin there and then. Just like that? What I heard about him, he's a right skinflint. And what did Betty have to say? She was well pleased, as you can imagine. Even more when I told her Tonda will take everything she makes. That's great. A bit of extra coin never hurts. Can we speak? Mother of God, you look like you've been assaulted. <laughs> yes, I was. About Red Eye, what kind of lord is Hanush? How's life in Red Eye? How the Red Eye folk get on with the refugees? Have you heard anything about those humans? Okay, let's begin with Hanush. What kind of governor is Sir Hanush? Sir Hanush is a good lord. Things won't be the same when that wastrel Sir Hans takes over. That will be a sorry day. Hans? What's life like in Ratai? Life is good here. Even better if them damn refugees would only vanish. Refugees? Okay, How do the Ratai folk get on with the refugees? Take them all in order. Well, they have it tough, no doubt. But there's not enough room for them here. How much longer will they be living on our streets? Nothing good will come of this. What if one of them's brought the plague with him? Hmm. Have you heard anything about the Cumans in Sigismund's army? Don't talk to me about that fucking rabble. <laughs> A soldier was staying in the alehouse. Them barbarians impale people on spikes. Rape women. They hold nothing secret, the filthy heathens. Well... Would you maybe know what the Christians have done to the filthy heathens in the past? No, of course not. So... May the Lord watch over you. Okay, so yeah, this is an... Could you stop growling at me? You don't even have a name. Right, back to... Uh, where did I come from? I don't know. Where is... Pesek? Is it there? I do not know. For the hair of my chili chin chin, I have no idea. Probably from here somewhere. Yeah, that's been a refugee thing that's been a problem since forever, I think. So, there you go. Is this the Miller? I do not know. I don't think so. Oh, it's down there. Yeah, now I remember. So it wasn't that far away. Just got lost in the woods on my way there. Ah, I need to get my stamina up. Oh, this sucks. I can only run for a little while. So you thieving miller, here's your stupid ring. I discovered the mill. Once again. And here are you. Here's God your be with you. stupid ring. I've got the ring. I'll have that ring for you. Good. Nice to know you're the sort of lad I can trust with a job like that. Now run with the ring to Wojtek, the Miller and Kohelnitz. Go He'll have some it. work for you. And I'll have something for you soon, too. A clever fellow like you will never want for work. At the very least, I'll buy risky goods from you. I mean, the kind that used to belong to someone else and you can't sell to just anyone. <laughs> stolen You'll buy goods stolen here. goods from me. Oh, thanks for your trust. I'm sure that'll come in useful. <laughs> if you give me cash, yeah. Uh, tell me something about the other millers. Tell me something about yourself. Can you tell me? Teach me to pickpocket. Yeah, that could be useful. Would you teach me something about the uh, milling craft? Like how to get things out of strangers' purses into your own? Aye, why not? You're handy enough. No doubt you're mastering. Oh, crap. Come behind the mill where we won't be seen. Goodbye. Goodbye. Yeah, I'm coming. Don't you goodbye me.
Hello, Mott. Mm -hmm. Could you walk faster? I don't have all day. And the dog just ran through the fence. Are you there? I'll stand here and pretend I don't know you're there. You try sneaking up behind me without me seeing you and take something from my purse. First, you have to rummage in the purse. The longer you do it, the better chance you have of finding something valuable, but also of getting caught in the act. Once you've found something you want, you've got to pull it out carefully, but fast enough so I don't notice. Try stealing my dagger. It's there, mixed up with other things. Okay. Pickpocketing. It's no joking matter. If you're caught with the fingers of someone else's purse, either by the victim or by a witness, they'll raise the alarm and you'll be pursued as a thief. In order to rob someone, rob someone successfully, you first have to sneak up on them unnoticed and then by holding E, begin pickpocketing. The first step is to grope around inside the purse by holding E. That's not easy, especially if your victim is on the move. The longer you can grope, the more time you will then have to select what you want. Okay, so there's uh, one of those. In order to then steal, you have to exceed the minimum time for groping, which you will recognize by the background of the rose changing color from red to green. Uh, uh, next page. Okay. Oh, so it shows you what you can get. Okay. Here, you dipped your hand in someone's purse and you have to get a little place where you're stealing. Yeah, let's try this. E. I'm sneaking up behind you. Okay, I did something. Caught you! Okay. If this was for real, I'd be yelling for a guard. Try okay. it again. So we have to go to green. And there. Okay, get out while you're still green. So, I'll stand okay. here and pretend I don't know you're there. You try sneaking up yeah, behind me I know. without me seeing That's you. What I and take said. something from my purse. First, you have to rummage in the purse. Yeah, Once yeah, you found yeah. stealing yeah. my... Yeah, 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 yeah. What I take? Inventory. Did I steal this? No, I have the dead man's ring. Uh, what did I steal? Pickpocketing was successful. What did I take? Nothing. Okay. I don't get it. So I do this. Uh, left, right. Oh, okay, okay, okay. This was I, for real. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Shut up. Shut your mouth. No, he'll take me again. Successful. That's the way. I hardly noticed you were there. I think you're ready to try it out for real. Best practice on drunks and sleeping folk, so you don't end up in jail before you even get started. Thanks, ah. Pashek. Thanks, Pashek. You're welcome. But I'll be having that dagger back now. Okay. You parted with Pashek's dagger. So, what am I doing now? Let's see. Side good thieves, take the ring to the miller in Kohelnitz. So, map. Where might that be then? Uh, what's this? Ratai Mill. DLC. Ratai Abogate. Where is Kohelnitz? There. 
So how do I... Okay. Well, I guess I'm gonna have to find myself a horse. Oh, that's what that was. Is it this way? Maybe. I think it's that one. <laughs> Let's find a horse. Maybe somewhere. Probably. Not much people around. It would be so much easier with a horse. Is there a horse I can buy somewhere? Seem to be much people around. Is there a horse here? Horse? Hello? Horse? No? No horse. No horse. So I just have to walk then, shall I? <laughs> Going to Kohelnitz. It's probably this way, maybe. Oh, I should eat soon. This is kind of crap. I have to walk all the way there. Let's run again. Is this Kohelnitz? No? Try. I discovered shrine. Well, that's of no use to me. <sighs> so this is boring. Couldn't you have lent me a horse? Wait, now I'm going that way. Should I go down here maybe? I don't know. I have no idea. Maybe. I'm running to another town. Are you serious? Who might you be? Can I ride your back? Kind sir. Oh, Wayfair, I don't want to pickpocket you. You discovered nest. What nest? I have no idea. I'm tired too. I'm not that tired. You discovered Miller. Is this the Miller in Kohelnitz? Miller? Hello? Ah, Daria B. Who are you? Mill maid Anna. No, I don't want to pickpocket you. I'm going to talk to you. Where might the Miller be? There's a bee. He's inside. Hello? Okay, so how do I get inside? Ah, the door. Can I open the door? Thank you. Hello. Oh, you got undressed quick. There he is. Talk. God be with you. I'm supposed to deliver this ring to you. Miller Peshek from Ratai sent me with this ring for you. A ring? Here it is. Useless fucking bauble. You must be Henry, right? Peshek told me about you. What the... Why did you throw it away? Do you know how much trouble I had to get it? Peshek said it was important to you. Like I said, it's a piece of junk. It was just a test to see if you've got the balls to work for the miller. It's a custom of ours, testing fledglings in the trade with a nice little wild goose chase. We need to mm -hmm. see if you'll be hobbled by pointless principles, or if you're willing to use your head. Congratulations, you passed the test, and now we'll have a few jobs for you. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um... I need you help with, with anything? anything? Just in time. There is a certain matter I need resolving. I have some scores to settle with the commander of the Talmberg Guard, and I want to get my own back. You may have heard that Sir Robart of Talmberg is a stickler for having all his gear neat and tidy. Mm -hmm. Commander of the Guard? Sir Robart? I'm already confused. Just tell me what I need to do. 
It's like this. I want you to break into the Talmberg Armory and steal a few Waffen rocks with the coat of arms on them. Ah, and once Sir Robard finds some of his guardsmen's equipment is missing... He'll see to the commander of the guard, who's the only one with keys and answerable for their safekeeping. When Robard finds out he's losing things from under his nose, he'll have him whipped. And I'll get what I'm after. Satisfaction. Take at least mm -hmm. five Waffen rocks to make it a proper stink. Hmm. Well, consider it done. What am I to do with the Waffen rocks once I have them? I'll burn them to get rid of the evidence. Just make sure you don't get caught. Okay. How can I sell stolen goods? What am I to do with these things I pilfer? No one will buy stolen goods from me. Buying and selling stolen goods is a crime. But if they're worth something, I can make sure they're uh, properly cared for. Not that I'd buy them from you, but I could uh, store them for you. And you'll get some coin for taking care of them before. So if someone <laughs> loses something and I happen to find it, I can bring it to you to store and I'll get Groshen for it. That's the arrangement. Aha. Uh -huh. That's not illegal. So training stealth. I'd like you to teach me how to be better at stealth. Certainly. Kidoki. I'd like beginner. to practice the basics. All right, but it'll cost you. Uh, okay. No, no, no. Maybe another no, time. No. I don't have that cash. Good luck to you. So good boy. Game saved. Well, uh, I think we might be done for today. I think I'm going to go back to uh, the other thieving miller. See if I can save the game there, maybe. Perhaps. And... Oh, is this the... Oh, I can cross here. Well, that's good. Uh, I want to know what's up there. This was an interesting episode, to say the least. I have gone from Honest Henry to Thieving Hell, I, know, I guess. I don't know. So, hmm. Well, just be running back then. This was a long trip, by the way. And I don't have any stamina at all. So, yeah. Well, I'll just run back there and we'll see what happens. Halt! Who are you and where are you going? I'm Henry, son of the Scalitz blacksmith. I'm going to see my liege, Sir Radzig Kabila of Thvoyets. Of course you are, lad. And I'm the Pope. What do you want from his lordship, and what makes you think he'll see you? Hmm. Well... I may not look the part, but I know about honor and duty. And mine is to tell Sir Radzik what happened to the sword he commissioned. All right then, go ahead. It'll be your skin if Sir Radzik isn't pleased. It looks like the same guard in... Uh... Back in Scalitz. So, let's... Uh, I didn't find the miller. I have no idea where the miller is. So, it's dark. I, yeah, I got lost. So, where would I find this, sir? Sir. Whatever his name is. Is it in here, maybe? Maybe we shouldn't run. I don't know. Hello. Radzik, that's his name. Hello. Let me speak. Can that be the smith's son, Hal? On my soul. It is him. What are you doing here, lad? We thought you were done for. Um. I was attacked bandits by bandits. Bandits attacked me in Scalitz. And why, for God's sake, did you go back there? 
Who else but cutthroats and banders did you expect to find? I needed to bury my parents. Oh, I see. Your father fought like a lion. I'm sorry. He saved my life. And not just yours. He was a good man, and you did right to bury him. I didn't even manage that. I failed to save him or put him to rest. And just what could you have done at Scalitz? If you tried to fight, the both of you would be dead. He gave his life for yours, Hal. So you'd better make good use of it. You're right. And just what are you doing here? Going to see Sir Let me speak with Sir Radzik. Is he here? He's in the palace with Sir Hanush of Ratai. They're feasting in the knight's hall. What do you want with him? My father made him a sword. He, um... He asked me to deliver it to Sir Radzik. I don't see any sword. No. Bandits attacked me and stole it. I need to tell his lordship what happened. And then I'm going to find the sword. Of course you are, Hal. Good luck. Thanks. So, can I go in? Okay. They let me in. I have to see Sir Radzik. This is it. Oh, that looked like a mini soldier. Hello. Can I go past you? Oh, uh. uh, oh, that's a toilet. So is it here? No. Is it here? No. Is it here? No. Hello. You look like a ghost. That's a toilet. So let's continue. Where is this hall? I see nothing. What's this? Hello. It doesn't look like a hall. Where am I going? Okay, that's not the way, obviously. Hmm. Where might that be? So that's a dead end. Okay. Let's go back then. It's not easy to find stuff in these castles. I feel quite hungry. Oh yeah, I don't say. Is it up here? No, that doesn't look like that's a private private area. Hello. Uh, well, I'm going somewhere. I have to see Sir Reds. Uh, what? What happened? Uh, the last thing I saw was a toilet, and all went dark. Your graces, I have to tell you in all seriousness that this land of ours is in the shit. Deep fucking shit. Don't you agree? I might not have put it as eloquently as you, Hanush, but I've been driven out of my own castle, so I'm hardly going to disagree. Indeed. But Pirkstein is yours for as long as you need it. Room enough for your men and you here at Ratte, and I'm sure my ward won't have any objection to me lending you his castle. I'd be honored. Perkstein is at your disposal as long as you wish, Your Grace. Just as well you have another castle at the other end of town, eh? <laughs> ah, at any rate, I'm beholden to you, Sir Hans, and to you, Sir Hanosh. Mm. I don't like to speak ill of your people, Sir Radzik, but, well... There's no love lost between the townsfolk and the refugees. There's been talk of criminality. No, oh, they'll have to get used to it until the situation's resolved. But when will it be resolved? And what on God's earth is this war even about? I won't lie, sir. I don't understand it. You aren't alone, father. 
I believe Sigismund's original intention was to persuade Wenceslas to accept the Imperial crown and to leave the rule of Bohemia to him. Well, who could blame him? I know Wenceslas is a friend of yours, Radzig, but even you have to admit he brought it upon himself. I can't deny the king neglected affairs of state for other pursuits. There is a need for order in the land, but I don't think the lords who sided with Sigismund realize just what Hungarian order looks like. <laughs> Hungarian order. <laughs> what concerns me, sir, is how a good Christian could resort to such brutality. To give him his due, I don't think he expected the lords of this country to stand behind the king. But thanks to him, we're tearing ourselves apart, and now he has to get things under control. But why in God's name does he have to use those barbarians? Money is the root of all evil, young sir. Wars are costly, and this one has dragged on for a year. Sigismund ran out of coin for knights, so he recruited those whore sons that settled in Hungary. The less he pays, the more they make up for it with plunder. That's why he attacked us. He was after our silver. What are you doing? You have no business here. Clear off. Wait, it's Henry. Henry, who disappeared after I clearly ordered him to remain at Taunberg. I'm sorry, sir, but I had to bury my parents. Had to? Do you think you were the only man who lost someone there? But the others listened to their lord. And it wasn't just your own life you nearly threw away. So Robard and his men risked theirs to save you. I'm sorry, but I had to. Oh, there you go. When you have to, you have to, Radzik. <laughs> your father was a remarkable man, and your mother, she was remarkable too. They deserved a Christian burial. Did you manage that at least? No. I was attacked by thieves. I wouldn't be here now if it wasn't for that girl. Girl? The miller's daughter, Teresa. <laughs> the miller's daughter saved you from the footpads? Well, there's a tale to tell your children. Uh, I owe her my life. She distracted them and then brought me to Ratai. But without Sir Robard, we'd both be dead. Oh, that's what I call a good woman. Hang on to that one, lad. Still, it's a great shame your parents are buried in unconsecrated ground. That means purgatory for them. Be quiet, friar. I didn't invite you here to eat me out of house and home and deliver a sermon while you were doing it. If you're so concerned, Father, maybe you should save the innocent souls of these fine Christians yourself. Go to Scalitz and consecrate their graves. I assure you, if you're killed by bandits, your soul will soar straight to heaven, as long as someone buries you in consecrated ground first. If there's anything left to bury, that plump carcass of yours would be quite a feast for the wolves and the crows. And one skeleton looks much like another, so how would we know which were your ordained bones or those of Sigismund's Tartars? Be that as it may, why have you come here? I must get your sword back. Sword? My sword hangs here at my side. No, the sword my father forged for you. One of those thieves stole it from me. They almost killed him and he already wants to go back. Takes after his father, I suppose. Lad. I've lost a castle, a village, silver mines, and a good half of my subjects. Why would I miss one sword? Because it's the last one my father forged, and I promised him I'd deliver it to you. I understand. I'd feel the same way. But prudence is the better part of valor, and a dead man keeps no promises. Aye. The woman had to save his fat from the fire, and now he wants revenge. What kind of fool are you, boy? He's no fool. Henry, you have courage. But you need training, arms, a horse. Or do you mean to beat this thief at dice? No, sir. Please, take me into your service and give me the chance to learn these things. The gall of him. Fled from the enemy, disobeyed your orders, duped Sir Divish, lost your sword, put Sir Robard in danger with his actions, and now he wants a promotion. Sir Capon's right. What you say is certainly true, except for fleeing the enemy. You would have run as well. Believe me. Henry's earned some punishment, but how do you punish someone who's already lost everything, hmm? Courage and blind obedience are good qualities for a soldier, but a wise man also appreciates loyalty, perseverance, and determination. Besides, that was a fine sword that his father made. If he thinks he can get it back, I won't turn it down. My lord, he's a peasant. 
You can't make a squire of a peasant. Why not? Someone made a priest of a pig. <laughs> he isn't a peasant, father. He's a blacksmith. And recent events have left me in need of his skills. So, you'd like to enter my service? So, I... Yes, I would. You won't regret it. <laughs> oh, I probably will. I'm doing this for your father, lad. Don't disappoint me. Well, fortune has finally smiled on you today, lad. Make the most of it. Now that I think about it, Sir Hanush, the boy needs training and experience, and you need spear carriers. Hmm. That's true. The bailiff is always complaining about your people making trouble in the camp. Maybe one of their own among the guard might help. It might. In any event, it will prove valuable experience. <laughs> but let's be clear. You're the one paying him. <laughs> Captain Bernard, see to his training, and then send him to the bailiff. Yes, sir. And yes, sir. don't spare him. You can rely on it, sir. Don't forget, Henry. Don't disappoint me. I won't, my lord. Hmm. We found Sir Radzik. And I got a job. Great. Game saved. So we will end this here and I will be back next week with another episode of Kingdom Come Deliverance and we'll see how I do with the training. So thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't and I'll see you again. Bye bye.